In this video, I'll show you how to use the Quill Selection tool, which is an extremely valuable and important tool with a lot of complexity. To access the Selection tool, go to the Tools menu and click on the Selection option here. You can also access it by pressing X on your left controller. To use the Selection tool, hold down the right trigger while hovering over strokes to select them. When a stroke is flashing, it means it's selected. You can deselect the mesh by pulling the trigger in any empty area of the scene. You can subtract from your selection by holding down the left trigger. This will give you a subtraction tool. To add back to your selection, you can lightly hold down the left trigger to get the addition tool. You can change the size of the tool by pressing the analog stick up or down. Every stroke in Quill is a separate mesh that can be selected. You can't select one part of a stroke, but not the other. If a stroke is partially erased, it still counts as being a full stroke, so you can't select one half but not the other. The parts of a stroke that have been erased can still be selected, so be careful. By checking the Select in All Visible Unlocked Layers option, Select All will select everything in your scene. Or, with this option selected, you can just manually pick what you need, regardless of what layer it's on. You can delete a selection by pressing the A button on your right controller, or by hitting Delete Selection in the Selection window. You can use all the same tools on selected strokes without worrying about affecting other parts of the scene. You can resize the selection by holding down both grips and scaling it the same way you'd scale the world. You can also scale it by pressing up and down on the analog stick. If you grab a selection while holding down the left trigger, it will duplicate the strokes. The selection tool can be a great tool for posing characters.